Yeah, and the first two are key before we even think about the third one. So go ahead, Kevin. Exactly. Uh, so types of expenses that there are, we got three major ones. You get your fixed expenses. These are ones that don't change. So stuff if you have a car loan, rent, mortgage, these type of things that come up every month and you know roughly very close to what it's going to be. And you have to pay that every month. Those ones you do know. More easier to plan and budget around because you already know what you're getting yourself into month to month. Variable expenses, these are things that you do and buy regularly, but there's no fixed price. Stuff like gas, groceries, utility bills. If you're in the Northeast, winter's coming up, so that's going to be very variable comparatively to summer. And everywhere in the U.S., there are differing um, prices going up and down for electricity all the time, depending on which form that you use. This is more challenging to budget for the reasons we just talked about, but you can estimate the cost uh, and get a good rough idea to know how much you should be setting aside for these months. Um, it's a it, it's harder than fixed expenses, but there's still, you know, you still have a possibility to do that. Lastly, though, is going to be those periodic expenses. And this is where the holidays come in. These are irregular expenses as well. So car inspection, maintenance, you don't do those all the time, but they do pop up every once in a while. Birthdays and other events, you want to make sure that they're memorable and good experiences for everyone involved. And the holidays, these aren't part of the monthly budget, but if they're not in the savings, they can't go on the credit cards. And that's where things can start getting into trouble. And that's when you inevitably end up having to, you know, go through us to see what's going on. But those are the three types of expenses.